Let's understand about the gate poles or a rectangular function. So right now I am going to talk about the gate function or we can name it as a pulse function or we can name it as a rectangular function. Let us express this general expression. General expression, let us name this function as f of t, which is equals to a rectangular of t minus this center whole divided by this tau. Now this a is going to be amplitude and this is the to entire width or the total width. Let us name this a as amplitude and this tau as total width. Now let us plot this function when the center is going to be equals to zero let's assume we have center equal to zero at this case we have this gate function or rectangular pulse function as a rect t by tau let us plot this as as I said earlier, this tau is going to be total width. Right here we have this amplitude as capital A. And we know that this is the total width. So this is going to be equals to tau. So because of that, right here we have this tau by 2 minus tau by 2 here. And which is towards this horizontal time axis. So this can also be represented as let's assume in terms of a unit function at first let us plot certain if suppose the unit step starts from minus tau by 2 let this amplitude be a and again let us plot another where it starts from tau by 2 which its amplitude is a again now you suppose you this function is f1 of t and this as f2 of t and when you do the subtraction from f1 of t minus f2 of t let us write here f1 of t minus f2 of t which is equals to right here you can observe we have this amplitude it starts from minus tau by 2 so let us bring it right here it's ampli which is having amplitude as a and you can observe here we have provided this negative sign so because of that we are going to subtract or we are going to cut this from this tau by 2 so because of that it has dropped down its amplitude from this capital A to 0 at the time tau by 2 so now let us express what is this f1 of t this is going to be equals to a times u of t plus tau by 2 and this is going to be a multiplying with u of t minus tau by 2 now this is actually same as this plot so because of this we can also rewrite as u of t plus tau by 2 minus of a u of t minus tau by 2 which is equals to 
Now here we are going to take the common as the sample tool. Then we are going to have u of t plus tau by 2 minus of u of t minus tau by 2. So this is how we can represent a certain relationship between this rectangular pose with this unit step function. And we can also get this resultant pulse from this two unit step signal. So this is about this continuous time domain and we can also express this state function pulse function or we can say it as the rectangular function in terms of discrete time domain. At that case we are going to name it as a certain sequence. So let us write here in terms of discrete time domain. Pulse or it can be rectangular sequence. At this case, let us write this function in terms of f of n, which is equals to rectangular of this small n, all divided by two times this capital N, which is going to be having two types of amplitude, that is one and zero, and this is from minus n, so this is going to be total width. So it's this amplitude 1 is going to start from this minus n to capital N. This is for else. And if suppose we have certain range from, if we have this kind of range, let's assume we have certain example which starts from a x to a. This can also be written as modulus of x less than a and we if suppose we have another example like b which is less than x as p this can also be written as modulus of x which is less than or equals to b so because of this this f of n is equals to 1 minus which has a amplitude starting from this range to this range or we can name it as this modulus of n which is less than or equal to capital N and its amplitude is going